Hi, this is Rabbi Dr. Carrie Tooling. I'm reading a poem that I wrote for the High Holidays last year. It's titled, Be Fully Here. Be fully here in this moment now, listening to the low hum of the machinery of life, acutely aware of the smell of soap in your neighbor's movements. Feel now the solidity of the structure that supports you. Quiet your restless legs. They move endlessly even as you sleep. Rest. For do you not even blurt things in your dreams? That tongue is now still. Let it find its seat in the sanctuary of your mouth. Unclench your fists. Let go of the attempt to control. This is your life, but not yours to keep. But rather know it is in the giving that you are born. Love these people. Drink them in. They fill your life like wine in a kiddush cup. Bless them. Be fully here in this moment now. The month of Elul is here. It begins the 40-day countdown to Yom Kippur. There is a Hasidic story about the special time of the Jewish year, encouraging us to see ourselves as tenant farmers who every day go out to the field to do our work. But during Elul, we go out to the field as we usually do, and we meet the one who owns the land, also known as God. The spiritual practices of this time, which include hearing the shofar, reading psalms, and engaging in our annual review, Cheshban HaNefesh, which for the accountants among us literally is translated as accounting of the soul. These practices invite the Divine Presence to be with us for these 40 days. I have been calling this year the year of lost and found. We lost our ability to hug and to touch others. Some of us have lost our ability to earn a living. We have lost our ability to connect to the outside world in the ways we know best. We have canceled our plans, deferred our dreams, and we struggle to maintain our belief in ourselves amidst the grief and pain that surround us. This year has made us all vulnerable like never before. Now, back to the farmer. As reported in the New York Times, there's a couple, Allison and Morgan Gold, who raised ducks and geese on their 150-acre farm in Vermont. They made a very modest income doing this until Morgan began filming videos of himself doing his chores and posting them on YouTube. He happens to be a good storyteller, and he will be the first to tell you that farming has its challenges. These videos have gotten pretty popular, and now Morgan is a farm influencer. He has put his vulnerability and his passion out there in a way, the golds have met God in the field. This year of loss has, in important ways, also been a year of finding. We are finding new reservoirs of patience and ways to appreciate those we love and care for. We are finding ways to learn new skills, to explore interests, and to dissolve geographical boundaries through digital community. And because we can now see the frayed edges of our lives, really see them, we are finding ways to repair them. We are making new grooves, imagining lives beyond what used to be fixed horizons. And we are finding the moral courage to hear the cries of those whom we, have, whom we had previously shut out. Which is a manner of hearing the shofar. We are the tenant farmer dialoguing with the Divine Presence. Let's keep doing that. May we all continue to find purpose, strength, and meaning during the new year, during this time and the new year ahead.